What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, in this video, as I did in the past, I broke down not too long ago the defensive flaws and the mistakes on the part of undefeated lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rod Ryan Garcia ahead of his highly anticipated showdown with undefeated three division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis who simultaneously held the WBA super title as super featherweight and the WBA regular title lightweight junior welterweight who has a record of 28 wins no loss no draw 26 big wins by way of knockout he is 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. With that said, here's a little habit and a flaw that I found with Javante Tank Davis in studying Javante Tank Davis for this fight with Ryan Garcia. And as you can see, this is a fight in Javante Tank Davis' first and only fight at Julian Welterweight when he took on the WBA regular champion, Mario Barrios. And here you can see in his film study that Javante Tank Davis... He has a major flaw when it comes to a major strong point of Ryan Garcia. And that major flaw is when you are throwing the hook at Javante Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis had the tendency mainly to drop his right hand when you again ready to throw the hook. And he bites here, as you see, on the feint to the body with the left hook. But the problem is, is that. Uh, Mario Barrios is not as talented as Ryan Garcia to capitalize. So let me show you. Here you have Javante Tank Davis throwing the jab at Mario Barrios. Takes a step back. He's going to faint to the body with a right hand, come back up with a left hook, but he's not quick enough to land it. See that? So Javante Tank Davis, he just gets out the way of the left hook, right? But he bit on the faint, the right to the body, but now, imagine replacing Mario Barrios with the hand speed and power of Ryan Garcia. That will land. So, Javante Tank Davis reflexes here is to drop his hands as if he's protecting his body. And then right there, Mario Barrios just misses with the left hook, right? He just misses with it. Javante Tank Davis will not be able to get away with that against Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia has extremely fast hands and extremely uh, um, quick reflexes when it comes to identifying you being uh, uh, susceptible to his feints and coming back top, coming back up top and hiding his punches. Now, this is something that happened all night against Mario Barrios. And at the end of the sequence, watch this. He's also going to do it once more when Mario Barrios attempts to land a right hook. He's going to drop his hands and try to lean straight back right here. Now, Mario Barrios, he threw that hook at the body, but Ryan Garcia is much better at fainting the right hook to the body, making it look like he's going to throw it to the body and bringing it back up top. That's going to be a problem for Javante Tank Davis. This is a bad habit that he absolutely cannot display against Ryan Garcia. As you see there, once again, Immediately, as soon as he saw the hook coming, he went to defend his body where Mario Barrios with the length. If he was quick enough with his length and his speed, he would have been able to bring that up top, make it look like he was going to the body and then bring that right hook up top. And that would have clipped Javante Tank Davis on the way out, leaning straight back. So this is something in the area Javante Tank Davis absolutely has to clean up because if Ryan Garcia faints to the body with a right hook, he'll be able to catch Javante Tank Davis dropping his hands and trying to get out of there. Here, once again, another even cleaner, clearer, perfect example of what I'm talking about. Look, he drops his right hand as Mario Barrio shoots to the left hook. He completely drops his right hand and leans straight back. Watch once again, right there, drops his right hand and Mario Barrios is just not quick enough and twitchy enough to land that left hook. Ryan Garcia, that's his signature punch. And he ugly has the fastest hands in boxing. So we know, and he's just as tall and rangy as Mario Barrios. So this is a punch Ryan Garcia absolutely will land. Watch it once again, right there. Javante Tank Davis' nature and refla and his body language, his muscle memory tells him to drop his hands when he sees an opponent getting ready to throw a hook. This is ironic because I haven't paid too close attention to this until I realized that when I'm studying it, 
and Ryan Garcia's biggest attribute is a hook. And Javante Tank Davis continues to talk about Ryan Garcia only being a hooker, only having the ability to throw one punch, which is a hook, which is a clear indication to me that they know that that's a bad habit that Javante Tank Davis responds to hooks by dropping his hands and they must be paying close attention to it. Hence the reason why Javante Tank Davis, he stated he's in a uh, training camp and he's preparing for Ryan Garcia focusing on his defense because he will not hit him with those punches in that hand speed. So they are aware that this is a bad habit and a glitch in Javante Tank Davis's defense when reacting to hooks. And that has to be addressed, no doubt. Let's keep going. Once again, in this sequence, you're going to see Javante Tank Davis dropping his right hand when reacting to feints to the body and hooks. Once again, watch this. Here we go. So watch, Mario Barrios is going to feint to the body and look at Javante Tank Davis' reaction to drop his right hand, okay, and go straight back right he leans straight back dropping his right hand and lean straight back this is an absolute no-no when dealing with somebody like ryan garcia who specializes in hand speed hooks and flinches making you react to get you out of position making you do what he wants you to do so he could capitalize with ultimately his hooks and his straight right hand not to mention javante tank davis is leaving himself open for a straight right hand as well Here we have another sequence when he displays another terrible habit. As you see, he drops his right hand when when Barrios is throwing a hook feint at him to straddle the ropes to get out of the way of danger. But once again, he drops his right hand. This is a tactic that Floyd Mayweather at time uses, but his reflexes are way quicker than Javante Tank Davis's. And Ryan Garcia hand speed is a lot quicker than Mario Barrio. So when you factor those two things in, watch this. He straddles the ropes and dropping his right hand, right? Now, he did catch Mario Barrio's hand and, and knocked it down. But imagine if that was a feint, okay? If that was a feint by uh, Ryan Garcia with his hand speed, he could make it look like something. And Javante Tank Davis reacts to it. And then Javante Tank Davis, bang, can get clipped. Here we are once again, another sequence when Javante Tank Davis is straddling the ropes, trying to get out of danger. And right there, once again, what does he do? He drops his right hand when Mario Barrios is throwing a left hook right there. And Mario Barrios is just not quick enough out of position and just doesn't have the reflexes to respond to Javante Tank Davis and this uh, vital flaw that he's displaying. So imagine the hand speed, the reflexes, and the wherewithal of Ryan Garcia in this position. He will capitalize, and his left hook is his specialty. That's his go-to. He uses feints. He uses a one-two to set up that hook. And ultimately, if this is a flaw that Javante Tank Davis doesn't fix, well, then I can see Ryan Garcia absolutely clipping Ryan, Javante Tank Davis with one of these hooks. So uh, this is all night that this was happening as well. And here goes another punch that was landing all night as well. But Javante Tank Davis was defending it a lot better than he was with the hooks. He was just, it was just grazing and coming through. And this is the straight right hand of Mario Barrios off the one, two and feints. He was measuring using a jab as a range finder. He would take a step back. As you see right here, Tank Davis using a high guard. Mario Barrios then takes a half step forward and leads with a right hand right half step forward feints to use the jab right then he's going to come right behind that with a right hand right there bang and lands okay and now this is a punch that once again ryan garcia he signatures this is a signature signature punch for ryan garcia we go once again another sequence watch javante tank davis drop his right hand there you go uh, this is a entirely different sequences. These are all different sequences that took place within this fight. And you see, this is a, a natural bad habit and a natural reflex of Javante Tank Davis to drop his right hand when his opponent is throwing a left hook. For what reason? I don't know. But I'm sure this is something that they paid very close attention to because I'm sure Ryan Garcia did as well. Watch right here. Left hook coming. Look what he does. Drops his right hand completely at his side. Right. And he now he catches the, the right hand 
from Mario Barrios, but he completely drops his right hand in this sequence. And keep in mind, he did catch the straight right hand from Mario Barrios. But again, I can't reiterate this enough. Mario Barrios does not have the reflexes and the hand speed of Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia has at least five times the amount of hand speed Mario Barrios does. So you have to factor that in when you look at these sequences. Here you are. He drops his right hand completely and then he catches the right hand. Excuse me. He drops his right hand completely and catches the right hand of Barrios. He missed Mario Barrios misses the left hook. But Ryan, but Javante Tank Davis completely drops his right hand. This is a bad habit that he displays time and time again throughout this fight. Now, he did get three knockdowns and stop Mario Barrios in the 11th round. But again, these are bad habits that he has to clean up en route to victory over Ryan Garcia. Now, he has the edge and experience over Ryan Garcia, so I expect him to clean it up. But if he don't, this could be a problem. You see, he slips it, just but the right hand right there, Ryan is much faster than Mario Barrios. That could be a serious, serious problem. I still expect Javante Tank Davis to reign supreme in this fight, but these are the flaws that Javante Tank Davis has. I reveal the flaws that Ryan Garcia has. They both have to clean up flaws. The flaws of Javante Tank Davis are not as steep as the flaws of Ryan Garcia. They're not as consistent, but the problem is his flaws is dropping his right hand consistently where Ryan Garcia Ryan Garcia's biggest attribute, his biggest weapon, is his left hook. So the rubber can meet the road when you factor those two things in. So this is going to be exciting. I can't wait to see how it unfolds and plays out on Saturday. But I want to give y'all some some flaws that I saw Javante Tank Davis make. So uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow.